some uh, shy shaping, which is kind of the way I like to play golf anyway. I like to move the ball about both ways and um, kind of visualise the shots before I hit it. So um, I do tend to, you know, wouldn't say I have one shot all the time, but try to make my swing as neutral as possible, and then from there feel what I can move it about both ways. So the way the way I do that, the way I move the ball about, is the club face determines somewhere between 80 and 90 percent where the ball starts. So if you're going to draw it, say I'll draw it onto 250 sign or something up there, the club face will be pointing almost at this bucket in the right here. So that's my first point. I pick a spot there, club at the bucket, and then when I dress, I actually just nudge my setup a little bit right. And as I grip the club, the club face actually closed, that'll be a neutral grip. The club's actually sitting closed. So try and do as much as you can for the shape and the address position. Then after that, just try and make the swing you would normally make. So set up a little bit right. Club face close to me, but still right at the target. It's just exactly the opposite. So it'll be somewhere left, say that 150 sign. It's obviously quite a big, quite a big fade there. Um, and then just same thing, open up, address position. Try and make normal neutral swing. That's how I can attend to try and make it as simple as possible, especially in the golf course, so build everything in as much as you can before you actually take your golf swing then. Just like a normal swing. Um, you, don't, you don't do nothing really with manipulating the path too much apart from just opening and closing starting. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um, the only thing I'd do, sometimes if the trouble's in the left, I'd maybe put the ball a little bit further back in my stance to make sure it's trying to focus on the start lines all the time. Right. So, you know, Try to draw into a left hand flag and there's water on the left. Uh, I would kind of just let it just fall back a little bit further, that being neutral. Yeah. Move it back maybe half an inch further back. And that's just going to allow it's going to be a slightly more descending blow and the ball tend to start a bit further right. Yeah. So just try to build in as much as you can um, in the setup position. And then it takes away any sort of manipulation. Yeah, yeah. After You're not that. Trying to make that halfway through. Yeah, right? uh, no, try and keep all that. find it last minute, all that sort of stuff. So, Did you change your stance at all? Uh, I just changed my alignment slightly. So, you know, neutral. Uh, up there. So that would be a pretty neutral address position. So that would be a straight shot on the 250 board. And then for a draw, you know, that would be a pretty standard draw set up. So I'm probably Close that as there, probably start maybe five, ten yards right in the target. Um, and then just try and keep the swing pretty much the same from there. Uh, most shots, obviously, being from Scotland, play a lot in the wind, so something I grew up with, pretty much second nature of hitting a low shot, but similar sort of thing. You'd be trying to do as much as you can in the address position, ball slightly back, and then one of the things I think a lot of people fall into, try to hit a low shot, and actually try and hit down the ball too much. So set up normal set up position, try and hit it low just by trying to make you know a more descending blow. A lot of it club comes out, it kind of starts low and ends up high, sort of slices what I see from a lot of ground and stuff. So similar sort of thing, ball back in the stance and then actually from here almost try to catch it shallow. So instead of trying to get Think of the ball going down almost a more inside shallow strike, which should keep the ball a little bit lower. And then well, the same thing if you want to hit a low fade, do the same thing. Try not to keep saying it, but 
a best position, making sure that's that's going to keep the ball down as opposed to trying to join the goal swing. So ball back in the stand, same with slightly left. It's a little bit easier to do with some longer irons. Got two iron here actually. Just put these in the bag, the eggs are pro. Make a bit of funky noise when you hit them, but, <laughs> <laughs> but they're going, seem to be going pretty well. Uh, still used them the last couple of weeks in terms, but still doing a little bit of testing. Messing about, this is actually a three iron, but they go so far I'm using it as a two iron, it's carrying easily as far as it would a two iron. And I kind of prefer the look of an iron as opposed to like hybrids or five wood, which I do carry a five wood a lot, but uh, just depending on what type of golf course we're playing, quite like a two iron. So, so you can lower one with this and then a couple of different shots. Sounds a bit funky. And then a higher one, which obviously a lot of people, you need flags front of the green, stuff like that, try to stop the ball quicker. Um, but this club would be, you know, second shots to par fives, things like that, try to get the ball up in there. Same thing, it would be try to hit it high, I would see it slightly left to right, just give the club a little bit more loft, the ball a chance to get up in there. And that'll be done <laughs> the same way, ball forward, my stance so almost towards my left heel and the only swing foot I have with this is just try to keep the weight in my right foot a little bit longer to try and get my arms past my body and get you know the club a little bit more under the ball to help up but staying in the shot as well see a lot of people trying to hit it high they get fairly in their hand try to get up in the air and they think high so they come out the shot and actually catch it thin so stay in the shot weighting the right leg a little bit longer the down swing should come out I'd say that would be pretty high too, I am. You can obviously hit it both ways very easily. If you uh, and uh, we'll put pressure down the stretch of the tournament, which shape are you more comfortable with? I mean, would be your um, to, would you say, I think it would just depend on what I've played most with that week, to be honest. Okay. Um, I've had, uh, remember Glen Eagles, first tournament, well, second tournament I won yep. on tour, but uh, that was, I was hitting a draw most of that week. Um, and I remember coming down the stretch there, the ball getting further and further back in my stance and just hitting as hard as I could to try and, yeah. try and make sure it was always starting down right side of the fairway and coming back and uh, served me well that week, managed to go over the line, but um, Scottish Open a couple of years ago, uh, Justin Rose won it, I finished third there, played really well T Green that week um, and I felt as if the ball was just forward my stance, starting left and fading, so kind of varies week to week but as I say I like to when I practice when I warm up especially for me I tend to get technical as well so when I'm into you know getting the setup correct try to shape the shots as part of my warm up I feel as if I perform better when I do that rather than thinking about little things around my swing so as I have just had a couple of drivers and um, also not too much after Sanders impressive show there um, and then same thing the driver uh, you know, try to build as much as I can into a dress position and then after that try to make the same swing so set the club up, a little bit right the target ball opposite the left heel should be a little bit See there with Sandra's address position. We are normal driver, it was pretty neutral set position. Get a long driver, it was ball forward, a lot more spine angle. 
Um, obviously really important the driver would be hitting up on the ball. Um, I do it not quite as extreme as that so I'm trying to keep it in the golf course but uh, par five and they go after it. I would feel the ball almost towards my left toe and then actually grip the club closed. So I'm going to be swinging a little bit harder, there's a chance the ball can go a little bit right. So grip it a little bit closed and then similar to two, I'm trying to keep a bit more weight on my right side, hit a little bit more up on it. Hopefully hit a high drop. That'll be a good drive for me, about 20, 30 yards behind Sandra, but I'll take that. <laughs> so, Right, and thank you. Thank you. Thank you.